Hi everyone, Empress Justice here. If you'd like to check out my daily readings, you can check them out on Empress Justice The Road Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. If you want to check out my lunar readings, you can check them out on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter as well. Well, hang on. No, tell a lie. If you want to check out my lunar readings, you can check them out on Empress Justice To Row YouTube. And I might actually do a lunar reading today, but I wanted to go out today, actually. Um... Because it's the last day that we're going to get of summer for, I think, the next few weeks before it goes back to normal tomorrow. So I wanted to go out today, but um, let's see what happens. If it's quiet today, then I might do the new moon in Revati today because uh, it's bank holiday and I've got a lot of stuff to sort out. So I might as well make the most of it. I really want to go out though. I really want to go out because I haven't been out in so long. Um, it's just that when, you know, when you're used to doing something, it just, you know, there's always an excuse to stay in when you don't really want to, when you know it's not good for you to do that. You're like, for me, it's just getting lost in Empress Justice to row work and stuff. But yeah, I'm just making my bed at the moment and I'm just tidying up. Might as well join me while I tidy up. So update on me. Um, well, all weekend, my neighbours have just been trying to make little jabs here and there. Um, I think what the police have been telling them or what the landlords have been telling them is try to get something on me, like try to get me upset and record it or something. I don't know. I don't know what difference that's going to make. I don't know what difference that's going to make because, you know, I'm not... I'm very transparent with the way that I feel most of the time. So I don't understand what that's going to do. And the thing is, at the end of the day, if, it, if everybody is kept honest. Then. You know, if everybody is kept honest, then what ends up happening. Is that evidence is going to swing back around in your favor anyway. Remember, the law is about what you can prove. If I'm out here being completely transparent about my shit and everybody else is denying, 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 then when the evidence really does come out, who do you think is going to favour? Me, because I haven't lied. So I, you're like, I don't understand like why they're trying to get something. Like It just doesn't matter. I think what really makes them nervous is the fact that there are times where I've come on here and I've noticed what they've done and I just don't care enough to bring it up. And I think that's what's making them nervous because I said at one point, I swore revenge. I swore revenge at one point. And they heard what I said. So it's like now if I'm too quiet, then they're worried that I might take my revenge or take, you know, so like, of course, a little girl's talking about curses because she's an idiot. And then on top of that, um, I don't know, N-words are still being used and, you know, or to try and get a rise out of me or try to preempt what I'm going to do next. I'm like, none of that is going to help you. For the simple reason that it's you bullying someone else and you trying to make somebody else feel bad. I mean... The thing is, you wouldn't have anything to dread if you weren't doing anything wrong. And I think what's really sending everybody over the edge is that the police are scared of me. Because I heard the mother telling either her sister or somebody else that I scared the police off. Now, my thing is this, right? I don't care how much of an attitude I have. I don't care how domineering I can get. I don't care how belligerent I can get. This is the motherfucking police. Okay? This is the police. Do you seriously think in your heart of hearts, like this is the police and this is mental health. Do you seriously think in their heart of hearts that if I wasn't completely telling the truth about this whole gang stalking thing and that I wasn't telling the truth about everything that's been done to me, 
that they would really take me seriously seriously enough to back off. I literally said on the phone to them during a recorded, recorded, mind you, during a recorded phone call, if you don't do something about this bitch, I'm going to do it for you. I said that to the police on the phone to them. Yet they're too scared to do anything about it. Something ain't adding up. At a certain point, you have to say to yourself, something is not adding up. Why the fuck would the police be scared of me? And they're, they're the same ones that said I don't have no evidence in my corner. Why would they be scared of me? Over here, I'm supposed to be what? Delusional, paranoid, schizophrenic, with no evidence, yet they're scared of me. Come on now. Come on now. The only reason why I have the ammunition that I have is because, like, most of the stuff, if not all of it, is fucking true. That's my ammunition. That has always been my ammunition, the truth. I've never been able to get by on a lie. Nobody's ever believed me. I mean, sure, they pity me more when it's a lie, but it doesn't mean they fucking believe me. If, I, if I'm telling the truth... That's what makes everybody scared. And the fact that I'm not going to back down on the truth, that's what makes even everybody even more scared because they can't manipulate or intimidate me. Now, I could be wrong, but I've also heard that people are being told that I'm some kind of drug dealer or something, or, or I think it's because I pointed out in one video that I saw somebody dealing so I, I heard somebody say that I was a drug dealer or something. I think, I think that must have been said at some point. Of course it was. Then me being into the occult, somebody said that I was a witch, which isn't, it's not far off. It really isn't far off. But, you know, again, everything that could make me look negative has been said out there. And there are four people who believe it. But the one thing that's making everybody scared of me is not the fact that, you know, I'm big and black and loud and all that. That certainly doesn't help. It's just that I tell the truth. I don't back down and I go all the way. I said to the police as well, and you heard that in the recorded conversation. I want to see how far they're going to take their lies. I want to see how far they're going to take it. I, I'm not interested in no through the wall, through the door shit. I'm not interested in that. How far are you going to take your lie? Because if you're not willing to take your, far, take your lie beyond that, understand I'm willing to take the truth all the fucking way. How far are you willing to take your fucking lie? You ain't, if you ain't prepared to take it beyond behind the back shit, you might as well just drop yourself out right now because you're not going to beat me. You're not going to beat me. I left London on a W, not an L. I had a W when I left London. Big W. Not a loss, a win. That was a victory for me. That was a victory for me. Because it proved how corrupt Brent Mind were. You seriously think I'm not going to have the same thing when I leave here? Only... An even bigger win. You, th you seriously think I'm not going to have a bigger win when I leave here? The only reason why I didn't take Brett Mine to court or Network Homes to court, the re only reason why I didn't take them motherfuckers to court is because they're too big to fail. That's not the situation here. That's not the situation here. I'm not dealing with people who are too big to fail. So, yeah. So, why would anybody be scared of me? First of all, threats to violence, that's evidenced. That is right there 
on the police recording, <laughs> there's evidence of threats to violence. In fact, that's not even the only one. <laughs> if the police wanted to, they could get me on that right fucking now. And yet they choose not to. They were apparently scared off. Why? Once again, I take the truth all the fucking way. I'm not planning revenge. I'm not planning revenge. It's too petty and it's too small. I ain't got the time for that. It's too small for somebody like me. And it's not going to help other TIs. If I go out and get revenge on people, how, how does that help other TIs? How does that help people who are going through this? This is so much more serious than some petty bullshit with my neighbours. This is bigger than that. This is a community-wide stalking initiative that has followed me into two cities so far around the country. It's followed me to two cities. This is a government initiative. This is a global covert initiative. Global covert unlawful experimentation into warfare and behavioral control, uh, population control. This is bigger than some petty argument. So revenge is just not, I, I talk about it a lot, but the thing to, uh, to remember about me is that I'm consistently inconsistent. How I feel changes from day to day, just like any other human being. So I might talk about revenge one day and then the next day I might not be interested in it at all. And right now, I'm not interested in it. And for the long term, I'm not interested in it because it's bigger than me. It's bigger than me. You think what I go through is anything? You want to see what these other TRs are going through. And that's normal shit. That's everyday shit that they go through. Fucking, I'm not even going to go into it because it's not my story to tell. But like, you wouldn't believe what these people go through. Some of these TIs go through. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. But yeah. Anyway, I gotta go. I haven't done. I haven't done much tidying. I just made my bed. I've got a bit more tidying to do. You know what? It's not even that much. It's just that it's like little finicky shit everywhere. I'm not gonna show you what it looks like, but it's like one corner and it's got all this finicky shit, and you have to find a place in like far flung corners of your home, like to put them all. It it's not hard, but it's. It's tricky and it's annoying. So that's what I've got to do right now. And again, I'll probably go out today. Um, I don't want to stay in. I don't want to make excuses to stay in. I've got shit to do. And yeah. Yeah. That's it on everything for now. I do have to go. But I do love my fellow TIs. Understand that. I love you guys so much. Thank you for being with me. And yeah. You guys take care of yourselves. See you later. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.